I'm doing fabulous. Thank you, Robert. How about yourself? You look really good. It looks like you got some good sleep last night. I didn't. I don't sleep. So, <laughs> nope. <laughs> In fact, it, it's funny, too, because my, my wife is a early sleeper. She goes to bed early, right? And, and we were doing things last night, and she goes, oh, my God, it's past 1 o'clock. So immediately she she turns over and goes to sleep, right? And I was still probably up till 2, 2.30, and then, you know, woke up at, at 6.30. It is, that's just, I don't know. I think it's a gift. I, I used to think it's a curse. I now think it's a gift that I don't need as much sleep as most people. Well, that's awesome to hear that. You got, you got a lot to do. Your plate is always full. So there's no question that a few extra hours in the day is really good. And then we have uh, Mr. Lance. Good to see you, my friend. It's been a while and uh, really good to see your smiling face. Well lit today and you look perky as well. Thanks, Robert. Always great to be here. Great <laughs> seeing you too, Lewis. I want to start and off, Lewis. Lance. I know you had a party on election night and uh, I want to know if you were doing the Macarena when, uh, when it was announced that Trump won. Uh, late in the night, yes. And the party that I was at, you know, I actually went home uh, before it was called because uh, I knew we were going to be in for late night and I didn't want to hang out there all night. But it was a great time and it was good seeing like it was, it was a party with some people that most of them were Trump. Uh, I, I mean, all of them were, but there were some people who were still kind of waking up to some things. So it was really cool. We were all able to, you know, drop red pills and just talk about things that we're excited for, things that have happened in the past and you know kind of wake people up there too so it was a pretty cool thing definitely very excited at the results as i know you guys are and yeah we're just moving along this is where we're at which is you know very exciting there's a big movement uh with rfk jr being named uh, health and human services director there that's he's got uh, ultimate power over fda over cdc over all of it now uh how do you feel about that lance and how is that going to impact your business and being in the nutraceutical industry that has been battling the fda uh every step of the way for uh, decades yeah robert i think you can see it on my face i'm smiling because it seems that RFK Jr. is going to absolutely go in there and dismantle those agencies. Uh, you know, some I think are going to be completely ripped down. Some I think will probably be massively transformed. But anything to do with the FDA um, needs to be really overwritten completely and probably just done away with. There might be some things that are that are there that are beneficial, but I think it's more on like the USDA side. And RFK did say on USDA most of that he, he's going to rip down. Yep. and keep some little pockets of it yep. so to me it's sort of like the fda should kind of just go away and the f or the usda can kind of do some of those things they probably will do still some things with that uh like but, but it's not going to be fascist in what we've seen you know they've limited the language we can use uh, i'm so excited because now i can come on shows with you guys and others and really go deep on these things and actually tell people what's happening without fear of repercussion yeah. Uh, as you guys know, we've had super in-depth combos offline um, and it's stuff like that that I really want to get into because you guys know that's where my heart and passion is, not just, you know, uh, like toeing the line, saying things that no one really understands, you know what I mean? Um, it's going to help people understand what the products are, both for my company and, you know, all the other companies out there. We can all start speaking freely and it's glorious times we've waited for this we've worked for this all of us and it's lifting or it's it's ripping the band-aid off of us being muzzled and now we can freely speak you do a lot of sourcing uh, especially for things like coffee and and the pine needles and the pine pollen and and you have to really dig and find sources that aren't loaded with pesticides herbicides and that kind of thing and uh, chemical fertilizers so this is you know when when rfk starts talking about the usda and regenerative agriculture and taking uh, glyphosate off the market and all the rest of this you must be just like jumping for joy because i know damn it i am i am so excited about this yes absolutely i know all three of us are and all three of us we've been awake to this stuff for some time and these are answered prayers for all of us i know you guys feel the same like yeah we i i, I try to take it a big step back in in a situation like this and think truly like wow this is a gift every day is a gift every moment's a gift but it's like i think it just becomes more apparent for us and it, more it's been more apparent for me um 
you know, we'd be in the FEMA camps or gone by now, as you guys know, and everyone listening knows. Uh, so everything from here on out is just icing on the cake. And now we can actually enjoy life and live like not not to say that there's not challenges ahead and that there's not things that we have to go through for sure, always. But we're going to have, you know, the governor lifted off and we can actually go full speed ahead. Lewis and I were talking about hamburgers. We both are hamburger fans, and and uh, you know, it, and uh, RFK posted a picture of his uncle JFK from the fifties, and he said there should be no harm in going out to have a hamburger. You shouldn't have to worry about your health the way we do now. Uh, if you eat something from McDonald's, for uh, for instance, uh, there's not much in the way of of anything natural, anything organic in there whatsoever. It's all chemicals. And uh, Lewis and I were having this conversation last week. It's like, wow, wouldn't it be great to be able to go to the restaurant and not have to scrutinize the menu and just say, wow, what feels good? What what am I in the mood for? And not have to worry about it. Yeah. In, fa- in fact, I was breaking down the hamburger. And I, and I say, to look at look at the hamburger of today versus the ham, hamburger of yesterday. T- today, you need to be be concerned of the GMO wheat that is used to make 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 the flour. There's white enriched flour flour in there. You have gluten intolerant intolerances because of and protein intolerances actually because of the flour they use in the bread. That's one. The lettuce. The pesticides and the lettuce and everything that that goes along with that. Not to mention, they don't remineralize the soil and and rotate the crops, so the lettuce is is worthless. In fact, it's harmful. The tomatoes are GM, GMO. They're total totally modified. They're they're tasteless. They're they're useless and filled with with pesticides. And then then you get to the cheese and the hormones in the cheese and the lack and and the bad lactose and all the things that go along with with the cheese and then you get to the meat which is uh, you have the antibiotics and you have the steroids and so on and so forth I'm like wow <laughs> we're breaking down the hamburger is my one of my favorite things is probably one of the worst things you could possibly put in your body now based on the intrusion of big government yeah and big corporations yeah. I'm loving, uh, Lance, uh, that so many people are becoming aware. Uh, and I'm watching in the store, in the grocery store, I was in the grocery store two days ago, and I was watching more and more people now reading the labels and looking at this stuff and taking the boxes and actually putting them back on the shelves now. It's not that we didn't know this stuff before, <clears throat> but all of a sudden it seemed to hit mainstream and people are really paying attention to it more. Are you noticing that as well? Yeah, definitely. And in fact, to kind of go off of what Lewis said, and, and with your question, Robert, kind of ties together. Um, you know, Lewis, we had a great dinner recently at a farm to table restaurant that was all organic. And I mean, how good was that food? And you could just yeah. tell like yeah, the, amazing. the vibe there was better. Everything. Yeah, the energy was there. And, and that's something that's, that's, that's a, a non calculable data right there. Yeah. The energy level and the frequency was so high compared to where you go to other places, but that's I, that's brilliant that you even brought it up because that's that's part of it. You know, um, I, the, the one that always amazes me. My wife points this out all the time. United States ketchup, sixteen ingredients. Ketchup virtually everywhere in the uh, in the world, four ingredients. It's it's just it's crazy. It's it's the, the other twelve are poisoning us. <laughs> I mean, that's really what it is, right? Cutting yep, corners, exactly. trying to save money. Uh, you know, the manufacturers, uh, you know, we're having this discussion this morning around the breakfast table, too. It's like, how do these manufacturers live with themselves uh, knowing they're putting things, knowingly putting uh, chemicals and, and uh, preservatives and things into the food uh, that we know are harmful? And it's like, how do you live with yourself? Is it just really about the money? Does the morals go out the window? And, you know, we need uh, an FDA uh, kind of organization that's going to say, hey, no, no, we can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Rather than saying, oh, well, these are generally accepted as safe. Go ahead. Put it in there. Right? Beautifully said. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, Lance, we know that you do a tremendous amount of research when it comes to any product you put on the market. And today we're going to be talking about one of my favorites, pine pollen extract. And there's a lot to learn here. So I'm going to, I'm going to let you kind of take the wheel here a little bit and uh, dig into this because I, this is not my wheelhouse, this particular one. But I can tell you from firsthand experience, 
I went through a bottle of it. I don't have it on my desk because it's empty. It's gone. But <laughs> And it was one that uh, I really loved. And I think it is one, one of your better products by far. Uh, not to say the other ones aren't great. They are. This one, uh, just you could feel the impact of it, which was really, uh, you know, fun to see that. I really appreciated that so much. So let's talk about pine pollen extract. Why is it important? What's in it? Uh, and let's dig into the, the nitty gritty here. Yeah, thank you, Robert. And it's not surprising that you say that you feel it. Uh, obviously, that's what we want. Um, but that stuff really is very strong. So the couple of the main first reasons. So there's 200 different nutrients in it. So minerals, vitamins, amino acids, phytohormones, antioxidants, uh, free radical scavengers, all sorts of different compounds that are found naturally within that pine pollen. And so what happens is the, uh, okay, so the forces of nature has really helped to create this. So if you think about pine trees, just like taking a big step back, they're battling all sorts of elements in nature, the wind, the rain, the sun, uh, the sometimes blizzard, snow, you know, all sorts of things, just depending where they're at. And just like any organism in nature, if it's being attacked in some way, attacked, it's going to put up self-defense or it's going to create defenses uh, to protect itself. So part of what happens with uh, pine pollen and the pine trees is the pine trees will create all these different nutrients, gathering it from all the elements around in the soil, all of it, and will end up creating in the spring a fine pollen dust. And some of the species of this pine really stand out in terms of benefits for human health. And so what we've done is we've gone to a couple of those main ones, the lodgepole and the ponderosa, and then we extract them. So kind of going forward, what happens is because all those nutrients are there, we keep it raw and alive. And with the way that we extract, it keeps it living. And so we're not cracking the cell walls of this pine pollen dust um, or, you know, pine pollen and when people do that, what happens is some of the nutrients become degraded, okay, because they're cracking the cell wall, oxygen gets in, and it starts to oxidize, and you know, really degrade the nutrients. So what we've done is make sure that when we extract, it's raw, alive, and that we can take in all those different nutrients. So we store an alcohol. And when you put it underneath the tongue, all those different nutrients can actually get into the bloodstream. And that's obviously what we want. Um, that's sort of just like uh, the top level of it. I'll, I'll go into more of like the hormone aspect. Um, but I guess I want to ask you, Robert, and I know that you've taken it too, Lewis. I mean, what do you feel when you take it? I mean, it, obviously not right away, maybe long term or over time, maybe you feel it quickly. Um, that one is something where some people do f report benefits like really quick. Um, so I'd just love to hear from you guys on that. Well, I would be the instant benefit guy because, um, to me, it, it, I don't know the, the process, but it works somehow it works on my clarity for my brain. So when I, that's for me, when I use, I use it and I love it, it's sweet. And, um, I tend to add it to before my workouts at times. And I, and I seem to have a, I won't say a more powerful workout, but more endurance. And I don't know if either of those two are part of it. You're going to explain that to me. But those are the two effects that it feels like that I get. And what I did when you first gave me pine, pine needle extract years ago is I intentionally didn't want to know anything about it for that reason. Because I want to see, I don't need a placebo effect. And I've noticed those are the two things. So I've never asked you about it. So let, let's see if I'm on to something or you're on to something with helping me with that. Yes, absolutely, Lewis, and I'll, I'll answer that. Um, Robert, how about you? Yeah, the same. Uh, definitely better energy profile during the day. Prostate support, I'd notice a very big difference there. Uh, and uh, clarity, it, it's very true because uh, Lewis and I would do a lot of work where we have to do a lot of research and a lot of digging. And uh, you have to keep uh, all these things, all these uh, facts and figures on top of your head. And if you're cloudy, it really makes it hard. And I have days when I'm really exhausted and I can't do it well. And and uh, I've told Lewis, like, I've been working on the news for six hours. I can't come up with any stories. It's like, wait a minute. 
here, 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 here. That's just because I'm foggy. And that seems to break through it really well. So it keeps me really sharp. And, and the energy profile I really like. I really like the increased energy uh, that I get from it. But I know there's a lot of stuff going on uh, beyond that that maybe you don't necessarily feel. And uh, there's a pine cone's been, uh, well, we've saw it. We, we talked about this the last time, right? We saw it at the, was it at the Vatican? There's a pine cone? Yes. Yeah. That's yes. in representation of the pineal gland. Mm -hmm. that, that's what they do. Yeah. They've known this for a thousand years, though. Take the pine needle extract at night because I thought it gave me energy. But if it's producing melatonin, is it okay for me to take it? Would you suggest I take it late before I go to bed, possibly also? Um, you definitely can, Lewis. You know, maybe your body will say, hey, I want this more during the day because it keeps me up. Uh, or maybe your body will respond and say, hey, this actually helps me sleep better. I would just experiment with it. Uh, but But theoretically... It could do both because if you're giving nutrients at night, uh, the body will use them and you know help to repair and rebuild the cells. And if it's upregulating melatonin production, then it should help to sleep. But again, everyone's body is going to you know react a little differently. So I love um, that let's answer. Go into, I, I selfishly want to go into diagnostic mode right now because it may help everybody <clears throat> if they have the issue. So my challenge is I don't really have a challenge of falling to sleep. If I don't do caffeine or th things, you know, late at night, I don't have a chance of falling asleep. My challenge is, is I'll sleep for an hour or two hours and then I wake up and then I can't get to sleep for three, four hours after that. And then that's been my challenge is my sleep is broken in, into often into two cycles, two, two hour cycles with a three to four hour spread between it sometimes is, do you think that could be a melatonin issue or maybe I'm just a nut job? Or yeah, both. It, it could. <laughs> well, I don't think you're a nut job, Lewis. I'll, I'll answer that. Uh, a jury's out on that one. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yes, it definitely could be melatonin. But honestly, like I, I really don't know. Um, there's so many different things that could be going on just based on a person's physiology and your genetics, Lewis, and like how, how you deal with compounds and what's going on right now. Um, I would love to be able to tell you that's the answer and I could fake it, but I'm not going to. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it definitely is. Is There's probably something to melatonin, uh, like uh, maybe a low production of it. You know, there could be something there. Um, but I don't know specifically. Well, circadian rhythm, uh, what they often talk about is your melatonin production peaks at 11 p.m. So the goal is to be asleep before 11. I, 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 I hit this thing all the time. It's like, if I go to sleep after 11, I'm like, Lewis, I'll wake up after a few hours. Like the second wind just keeps coming back. And if I'm to bed at 1030, which is difficult for me sometimes, uh, by 11, you know, melatonin, and then I'm okay. Then I'll get it, I'll sleep through the night. But it's, it's an interesting thing to really pay attention to the body's cycle, uh, the circadian rhythm for that. Well, I love the circadian rhythm talk. I've always wondered, though, how does that work when we, ch when we switch times? Time, you know, so you get suddenly you're, you're at 11.30 is actually 10.30 right. and, and 10.30 is suddenly 11.30 during the year. I'm always curious about that. So how does the circadian work? circadian rhythm work with that because I study a lot about the circadian rhythm and it's pretty badass, especially the way it, it, it if I'm right, if I remember correctly, because this is over 20 years ago, it, it, at certain times of the, the night or day, you're detoxing certain organs and then it goes to another section and another section, yep. which I think is fascinating. So I'm just curious how that works with the, uh, our, our standard time shifts that we have, especially on the, in the West coast all the time. Yeah, great question, Lewis. My view on it is that uh, it, it doesn't work, uh, meaning, you know, it's a terrible thing. I know that you guys, you know, th probably think the same thing, too. It's a bad thing because it throws us off. And, right. and it's, uh, you know, I think we all agree too intentional uh, for, for like nefarious purposes. Mm -hmm. I think the, the reason may have started with good intentions, but again, everything can get weaponized so easily. Um, we, we live in a world today where we don't need uh, like tractors and farming equipment have lights on them. And this was where the whole thing came back to right. farming. Um, and, and like, okay, now we're in the modern world. So why are we still doing this? Um, 
to me, like what, what happens is, I mean, nothing happens, so to speak, in that the body, um, the, the body's just going to stay tuned to the light. So even if the, the hour is different for us, the body is still going to feel like, well, okay, we, now we've just, you know, stepped back an hour. Mm -hmm. You guys have probably felt it come like seven thirty, eight o'clock. It feels feels pretty late. It feels like okay, now it's like yeah. starting to think about time to get to bed when it's only like seven o'clock, and you're holding yourself up still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pushing exactly. beyond. Yep. 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 And there's there's uh, numerous studies out there now showing how when the time changes take place, especially when we move forward in the spring the amount of heart attacks to go up, yep. the amount of accidents go up, the amount, amount of like psychosis events, all sorts of different things medically go on and hospitals. I mean, the data is right there. It, they're, they're much busier around those days, probably less so when it falls back, but it still messes with us. And, you know, certainly the, the depressive states kick in more for people. There's less light during the day. You know, it's just, lonelier and colder and darker sometimes you know depending where we're at and that absolutely affects us so you know my vote is that we need to instantly stop this when we move forward again in the spring we need to stop doing this because there's no point to it no one likes it you know like who do you know someone who actually likes this i mean we we like getting the getting the extra hour in the fall but we're not really getting an extra hour we're not yeah. getting an extra hour of sleep because like the day doesn't really change. Right. So, you know, I know that there are some states that obviously don't do that. And there's a lot of states that uh, oppose it and are getting more vocal. And I think with all of this stuff happening right now, this conversation is going to like pick up a lot of momentum and speed over the coming weeks and few months for when we do jump forward again, like we need to, it needs to be like all hands on deck, all the states no we're not doing this there's no point to it anymore we need to stop it only hurts people's health that's right same with 13 month calendar uh new year should be in the spring there's some things that are so basically 28 days a month that are just so basically obvious and it's uh i do agree with you that it's been all done intentionally in order to throw us off rhythm because when we throw us off rhythm that actually will calcify your pineal gland also which if I'm correct, the pine needle extract is, will help work against that. Is that right? Yeah, definitely, Lewis. <clears throat> Keep digging in, Lance. We want to know more about pine yeah. uh, pine pollen extract because it's 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 a it's an in depth conversation. You could see already uh, it's coming up that it affects so many different. Uh, parts of your health not just one it's like, well, not one of these uh, supplements you'll take it just do one thing it has many many uh, benefits to it yeah exactly and so we're we're getting close to launching some new products you guys we've talked about uh, a few of them um, i'll definitely let you know when that time comes um, but also we really want to branch out into things that can really help people uh, even outside of this we've we've been holding off on some of these things you know because of the fda and all that but we'll get there in time and just kind of like where i'm going with this is that i am very excited for what's ahead and what's happening right now because not just for me and my company uh, but it's for all of us like we're all going to be able to speak way more free like truly free and like it's a it's a crazy to even think about like wow Okay, the day is going to come. It's not here yet, but the day is going to come where YouTube gets liberated, Facebook gets liberated. You know, X is already liberated. You can say whatever you want on there, but basically, um, I know there's still some people who, are, who have been suppressed and are suppressed, but I think for the most part, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, getting there. So we'll see, you know, how quickly, but the point, like, we need to be able to freely speak without any issues and no shadow banning none of that crap it's all it's all demonic so you know good times are ahead i know that we're all looking forward to it and you know we just need to keep pressing forward uh you say the right things lance it's been my vision since uh, this all started it's like i kept telling people it's like let's envision what society would look like without the fda without the usda without all of those mm -hmm. uh those restrictions on us and you can go to other countries and you could find supplements on the market that, that
You've made it go away, so it's not bothering you anymore by masking it, but you didn't solve anything. Regular uh, holistic doctor will ask the question, okay, you've got a pain over here. Let's see what the cause of it is. What have you been doing? What have you been eating? Have you been sleeping? And they go through it. And, and to be able to do that, well, those appointments are 60 to 90 minutes sometimes, not seven minutes like they are with modern medicine. So it's a very different world. I'm real excited for it. It's been my vision. And, uh, you know, Lance, I started uh, battling the FDA uh, in, in my own way uh, back in 1995 when I was first exposed to uh, the hoax of AIDS and, and all of the, the AZT and all the rest of it. Um, I was actually working for a mail-order pharmacy at the time literally as a marketing guy, and uh, I got to see it uh, from the inside, and the money was just un believable I mean, they were doing $30 million a month in income, selling all these drugs because the average, pers- the average wow. age patient back then was on 30 or more prescriptions that needed to be refilled every single month. It was, it was just, the money was just insane. So you could see how the morals go out the window. And it's like, it's so good to be able to say, hey, we're going to get to a point now where... You know, as RFK Jr. session off people like Lance and Lance's company and so many other companies out there. And Lance, I love the fact that you're, you're, you're looking at it holistically and not look, oh, it's all about ascent nutrition. You know, it's like, I'm glad you don't have that, that viewpoint. And you say, look, we're all going to benefit right? Because there's a lot of companies out there doing very innovative things. And people talk about, uh, you know, one that autism is, is one that comes up a lot. Well, autism, if you look at the numbers, RFK was talking about it, it was one in 10,000 20 years ago. Now it's one in 34 today. But what changed? Right. And now we could we could look to Lance and we could say, Lance, what can we do for that? What are the supplements? Lance can do the research. He could find it. He actually put something on the market and actually be able to say. This is going to be helpful for these situations where they'd put him in jail if he said that before. So I'm with you, Lance. I'm doing the happy dance all day, all night. Uh, I'm talking to my doctor friends. I've been working with chiropractors for years and uh, so many of them are contacting me and they're so happy. They were not Trump supporters. But now they are because of what's going on just in that area. That's amazing, Robert. That's so cool. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to what's coming up next. And and, uh, you'll be able to share with us whatever you want. You know, I'm working on this Berberine report. I've been telling people. And it's like, oh, I can't say that. Oh, I can't say that. And it's like, wouldn't it be nice to get to a point where I could say everything that 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 herb does? Right? Yep. I say at this point, Robert... (laughs) It's better to ask forgiveness than permission. Maybe you may be right. Yeah. Just do it. Just do what, it. What, what's going to happen? By the time it gets to anything, you're going to be inside the Trump administration, anyways. It's true. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. I love that, Lewis. And I've been uh, stepping out a little bit more uh, with some of the language. I've been a little bit looser on this call. Uh, and that's just going to keep accelerating because I agree. Like, the, the I mean, they the the underlings may try to do something, but they're already getting the word from the people at the top. Uh, pack your bags, get the hell out of here. Yep, go go find some work that's actually going to be helpful. Lance, awesome. I love the smile on your face. I've been watching you the whole show, and it's like you're just smiling year to year. I know it's there. You know, this is what we've been hoping for and praying for for uh, for decades, right? We've been looking for this, and you've been you've been in this market for a long time too. I mean, you were a health coach prior, and uh, you know what you could and couldn't say, and things you could and couldn't do, and and now it's like, wow, we're unshackled. This is so good. This is what we've been looking for. Yes, exactly. You know, there was a, a chain of health food stores that I worked at in the past and we had to do rigorous uh language learning (laughs) on the fda like truly rigorous it it was it was a challenge and and i knew the stuff but it was it was a mental challenge to go through it it was like homework that we had to do and like practice things uh situations it was really good i'm glad that we did it but it was not easy um figuring out how can you say what this is doing in a structure function safe you know, language format that's like, they weren't telling us to try to be clever with it. They were like really by the book because they didn't want to get sued, rightfully so. Uh, So they didn't want us walking the line, but you know, they taught us, okay, how can you still convey what's going on in safe language uh, without, 
you know, crossing the line. So it was good, like mental gymnastics for me and the others learning this stuff and being able to like wordsmith around what they're doing because we can play their game too. They want to limit free speech. They want to suppress free speech. They want to suppress and muzzle us. Uh, then we can play the game back. But that that game's now ended, and uh, they don't have any any belonging in this future that's taking place right now. I could not be happier. Hey, folks, if you want to get uh, your hands on Pine Pollen, I'm going to put this up real quick. ScrewBigGov.com slash health is where you want to go. Uh, wild harvested Pine Pollen tincture, 14 vitamins, 24 minerals, 20 plus amino acids, 18 live enzymes. And uh, this is wild crafted by hand in pristine mountain air uh, in, of northern Canada. You know, not much in the way of pesticides up there. Uh, we always use whole cell uncracked raw pine pollen and never Sauce or source cracked cell wall pine pollen. As Lance said, that's how you maintain and keep this thing alive uh, and get the maximum benefit from the pine pollen. Wow, this is this is uh, an exciting conversation. I'm looking forward to Lance having you back again three four weeks from now. We're going to go even deeper into some of these things. We're going to be able to even, even be a little bit more unshackled. We're kind of like testing the waters right now. I know, you know, but uh, it's going to go a lot further. I'm real excited about that. Yeah, thanks, Robert, and thanks, Lewis. I agree. I'm excited too. Um, uh, Robert, look into something called. I think you already have, and I think we talked about it a little bit, but um, just give a little info. Look into dihydroberberine, um, and you'll find some good stuff on that. You may already know about it. Okay, I don't know about it, but I did write it. I actually have it on the post-it note from our conversation the other day. So it's something that's okay. on my list to go look for. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Um, and you can fill Lewis in w when you guys speak, or Lewis, I'll tell you when we speak next. But Please. cool, cool things. And the point with that, you can kind of see where we're going. We're we're always trying to upgrade. Of course, it takes time and money and resources and all that stuff. So it's not been always as fast as we wanted. But um, we are looking to make improvements, and you know we're doing that everywhere. So you know we'll keep all that good stuff coming. And like, I'm just really excited you guys to, to be able to branch out and source new exotic things. Like I'm talking to someone who, uh, he's a medicine man of sorts, uh, not a medicine man. That's not the right word. Uh, he's more like an herbalist, um, in, in Africa, he's a white Caucasian man, but he's done a lot of traveling around the world and he's found some pretty exotic roots there in Africa that have been traditionally used for uh, testosterone and libido and just like vitality and energy. Uh, also some things for women too, but just things that I've never heard of and probably most people have never heard of. Like we know this too, like uh, so many plants in the Amazon have not even been identified yet. Yeah. Imagine how much medicine's out there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one thing that I love to do and, you know, Lewis, you've shared this a lot. Both of you guys have. Uh, you know, I love to go out and, and travel and find, you know, the people, find find the actual sources of these things, go to these spots. Um, you know, I can't make it to every single one, but, you know, going to these cool places and finding what nature has to offer. This is what I want to do and a part of what I want to do and really get cool, exotic, very therapeutic medicines out there to the people. Um, and that's, I know, going to be me fulfilling part of my purpose here. Well, Lance, you, you truly are a service to humanity, and God bless you for that. Yeah. Thank you, Lewis. God bless you, too. God bless you, Robert. Yeah, we love uh, we love you, Lance, so much, and it's so great to have you on the show. And guys, uh, visit screwbiggov.com slash health. And yes, we do earn a small commission off anything you purchase, which helps support the show. Uh, it's all symbiotic. We all win. You win because you great, get, get great supplements. We win because we get uh, to pay for our internet bill and <laughs> keep the show going. And of course, Lance wins because he gets to build his company. And Lance, I cannot wait to see what you've got coming in the future. Thank you so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. And we'll have you back again uh, before very long. Awesome. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Lewis. Great seeing you guys. Love you both, too. Thank you. Bye. Lewis, thank you for being All here right. as well. And uh, we will be back with you on our next show. Thanks for watching, everyone.